Hey everybody, I am joined by the Try Guys. Hi. Hey. So tell my audience <laughs> that was that was so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell my audience a little bit about who you are and what you do on your channel. We are the Try Guys. We are four best friends that try things outside of our comfort zone. And we recently left BuzzFeed earlier this year to start an independent company and a new channel. Yay, so check out, I'll have all the links in the description. We did a video over there. You'll have to go and look at their thing. I think it's very funny. I enjoy all of your content. And I always will remember you as the glitter beard men. We were glitter beards yeah. in the streamies three yeah. streamies ago. That was my yes. very first streamies. That was our first. And so how do you balance being friends and working? Do you ever hang out and not mm. work? Actually, yeah. Um, we, we hang out a lot, perhaps too much because... But do we not work? Uh, I, yeah, there's times where we don't work. Sometimes. But I, we certainly talk about work. A lot. Pretty frequently. Well, it, the but we started, that get it, right? you know, we, we started as coworkers who became friends. Uh -huh. So talking about work, made sense because yeah. I, that was our relationship and even as we did friend things one of vacations of course like we're social people so making i mean it's kind of work to post an instagram even if it's really fun and gratifying and, and on your own yeah but i guess i'd be curious your perspective because yeah. we yeah we do a lot like keith and i've gone on vacations together and i've hung out and watched football and then or eugene like we all do stuff in different pairs but also we have a group thread and we are texting non-stop and the lines are blurred. It's like, we're talking about something funny, we're ragging on each other, and then we're talking about a project, and then we're back. It's, it never So there's no stopped. like boundary between... Not a hard line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And should there be? No, there doesn't have to be, but I was just curious if you're ever able, because we talked about on your channel about like burnout and sure. like taking breaks. So I'm curious if there's ever like a time where you're like, no, no, this isn't work, this is us just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, yeah. It, I think it's best when we have an activity that we're like involved in that like you can't be working and doing at the same time. Like yeah. even if it's just playing Smash Brothers, like you get lost in a video game and then you're not thinking about your know, due date of anything that you're working on. You're just hanging out. Yeah. We all went to Palm Springs together over Ooh, the summer, yeah. and we we specifically designed it as like a retreat. Oh, so no work. Well, yeah, well minimal, <laughs> minimal work. We were gonna film uh, a video called The Barkshler in Paradise. 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 Where we were gonna uh, go on romantic dates with our dogs, uh, each other's oh, dogs. Yeah. You, you get it. Uh, but, it went, but then pretty early on we're like, maybe we should just relax. Chill out. So we really ended up filming nothing, which was nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yeah, cool. we did it. You did spend the first night editing. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it was because of video things too. happening on the first night, you know. It was my ease in. Yeah, so it, is it easy for you to shut it off, or it sounds like it's kind of no, difficult? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'd say. I, well, like, it never shuts off, right? Of course. Like, the I totally the world understand. never stops moving, the content never stops needing to be out, so yeah, it's hard for us to turn it off because if we turn it off, then something's not getting done. How so, do I like it? I don't want to show Yeah, some, it some part of it's fun. Of course, that's why we got into it. We mm -hmm. liked it. It's yeah. like, well, you, you created it, so it meant that you wanted to do it. It wasn't, I don't think Buzzy like forced you. You were like, no, no, I think no, it's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they wanted us. They didn't want us to do it. <laughs> was it? You don't think? I don't think so. Uh, well, it turned out okay. Eventually, they did want us to do it, but not the way we did it. Anyway. Really? <laughs> so the last six months have been or seven months, I guess, have been kind of a lot, yeah. <laughs> you could say. Yeah, every time yeah. you like pass a benchmark or something, or you think you're past whatever was stressful, there's a lot of new stresses waiting for you. Totally. Um, and, and we also wanted the company to be a company that the people who work for us wanted to work for us, so it was fun, but also were rewarded, so like, and then making a salary position for people here, you know, getting health insurance for people here, oh, wow. trying to get a 401k plan for insurance? people here. Can, I, can I, I be a try gal? I mean, <laughs> if we can develop you, sure. Perfect. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting challenge that we went through is that we were starting over totally from scratch, but also with the momentum of four years behind us. Yeah. Right? So we wanted and kind of had to just hit the ground running and continue where we were. We didn't want our videos to miss a step. We, we didn't want the quality to dip. We, we wanted the quantity to increase, but also we're totally starting over from with nothing. Yeah, but your so, channel's like blown up. 
it's done great. People have followed you. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of hard work went into making that seamless. I definitely even personally can understand the like there's always another stressor like I really connect with that because I've been telling myself with the launch of my book I'm like I just need to get through that week yeah. and then I'm good and then I'm already like next week's already filling up I'm like I just gotta get through that week and then <laughs> it'd be good and I think that's like what we talked about on your channel is like burnout and have you noticed in the past six months like are there certain symptoms that you all can pick out from one another where you're like mm. he's having a shitty time he, he's he's feeling burnt yeah and I think uh, our signs are very different uh, with what we're getting stressed, like I think we can all say we know what Eugene's are, and that's typically what are because Eugene's? well, he doesn't sleep. <laughs> oh, he doesn't sleep because he works very, very, very hard, and like his work is amazing and it's super great, but at, sometimes it's at cost of his own health and fatigue, and then he's uh, a little more irritable, which makes sense because he hasn't slept. Yeah, you're not sleeping. Yeah. We all get cranky. There, yeah. There's totally we all have irritability our... across the board. Yeah. yeah, I think we all get irritable. Um, yeah, I noticed Eugene especially, I think, do you mind me speaking about your stressors? Do you want to speak about your own stressors? It's totally sure, I, I can say something. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I hold a lot of stuff in and yeah. I tend to be observant. Um, and then when I, because of maybe my upbringing, I, I don't talk about my problems. Mm -hmm. So I, it explodes and yeah. it'll yeah. explode. And I've had to balance like, I think aside from the Try Guys, like three other jobs at the same time. And that's hard because I'll stay up memorizing an audition or I'll be yeah. having to write another show. And um, I think on average I pulled like two all-nighters every week this year. So, because wow. I'm also responsible for Try Guy stuff. So then I let it out on them because they've become sort of my therapists. Of course, and they're the closest so, to you. We yeah, so I will literally, but I have to dramatize it because as someone who doesn't talk, <laughs> I like will be like, I need to talk. <laughs> and then I'll have like a full mental breakdown in like front of them. Yeah. Instead of letting it seep healthily out in different areas, I'll like have, make it an event and they're like, oh, Eugene's a time bomb. Um, but yeah, I time bomb it and that's probably not yeah. the most healthy way to do it. But I'm glad you get it out at all. Sure. And I'm fine yeah. with you letting it out on us because I, I would rather you let it out on people who know how to handle it and deal with it than uh, like a fan. <laughs> yeah, because we go through very similar stress. <laughs> Most of us have a lot of shared stress. Yeah, yeah, I went through a lot this year. He had a theory where he was like, well, a cup can only overflow once, so yeah. I'm just going to keep dumping water into it, and I'll do all the stressful things at once, yeah. and then there's, you can only be so stressed. Dump two pitchers of water on my face. <laughs> I, li I like it in theory. I don't yeah. know how it was in practice. It was, it, I, it, it was, it Are we still dumping? I literally, I could only be stressed about one of those four things at any given time, so, you know, like... Are we now still, it's like are we still dumping into this overflowing? No, I'm, I'm sure the house is pretty much done. Baby's sleeping through the night. Like, okay. like I'm dope. <laughs> I'm good, well, we're I'm out. Good. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I know everyone's stressors. Yeah, I, I think I, of it. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. I would say Ned, um, because he had so much dumping in at one time with the child, especially, yeah. and the new house and the business, he chose to fixate on one aspect of our business, which was the business. So Ned let a lot of his stress, I think, essentially permeate through anything that had to deal with numbers, essentially. Oh, okay. Like Ned is extremely numbers oriented, which is very good because we're not. Yeah, I'm not. You need yeah. one person that is. So, so what's interesting because uh, Ned's stresses, I think, were very uh, clearly validated because something was figured, figured, not figuratively, figure driven. Yes. So it was a figure driven stress, you know? Yeah. Like it was very clear if someone there was like a reason. Was was taking money from us or we yeah. were overpaying for something or someone was like charging more, I would just get pissed. Yeah, Ned would <laughs> put all of it yeah. like, He was that. not gonna what let anybody him? take advantage of us, which <laughs> yeah. is great. You need someone like that because a lot of YouTubers have been taking advantage yeah. of a lot of entrepreneurs. The way, I, the way I know that Ned is stressed is that he uh, puts on his noise canceling headphones and it tries his best. Oh yeah, this, I've seen this. <laughs> That's when he's really stressed. But when Ned gets into this place sometimes where he's like, I don't want to talk to anybody, get away from me, I just have to work. And that's when I know, like, all right, he's in his place. Yeah. But I've totally seen, I have videos on my phone of <laughs> Ned at lunch, full on down. in his, yeah. Take I forgot away. about that. I think Zach's. Yeah. I curl up into a little. I know. Yeah, hole. I want to hear. I want to hear. I think Zach's kind of like the opposite of how I deal with stuff. Uh -huh. Zach's. So if I'm an explosion of a balloon, his is just a constant. Yeah. Zach is like. So it's good because it keeps us in check. Off. Yeah, but like usually like the checkpoints like either end of the day or midday he'll just like. Just a deep sigh and be like. <laughs> Guys. Guys, I think I think we should just like do you have a moment. Can we talk? And it's just always like a, let's talk about 
what's stressing me out, what's yeah. stressing us it's out. It's like he'll be talking, but he won't actually be saying anything. And yeah. Really, the act He's just talking hearing it, yeah. in circles. And, and then yeah. his, his hair gets increasingly frayed. He like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he ends that was like, you know what? I think I just figured out my problem. Okay. Yeah. And he'll I'm actually solve his problem through talking it to us. He'll be like, I just, I got it. Never mind. Don't, yeah. don't even talk to me. We... The guy was oh, yeah, yeah, we were supposed yeah, to yeah, film yeah, a yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Olympics oh, video, like, yeah. an ancient Olympics, where we were going to be naked, yeah. uh, competing, and they did, they neglected to tell us that they also a, had a like children's a, soccer game, like yeah, a rec game. So we're like in robes and nothing else, and we're like, there are kids running around here. What the hell, guys? And like, this well, no, like, you guys do your thing. And I'm like, we can't do our thing. There's children. We're gonna get yeah. arrested. <laughs> we've paid for our crew. We've scheduled the date. We've traveled half an hour. To and then we're and very then, explicit you know. with what we were doing. Yeah. We're like, you guys are cool with that? And oh, our okay. site rep sent another messenger to tell us we had to leave. And I was like, no, we need to talk to the guy that was the site rep. I don't know who the fuck you are. You're not in charge of me. <laughs> get me the real. Person. Like, meanwhile, I was like, sun putting suntan lotion on like my bit. Yeah, it was interesting because the way in which we're discussing. Uh, our sort of release of stress, that expression, um, is many times uh, complementary or even like inverse to what our general outward demeanor is. Mm -hmm. Totally. And I wonder if that's psychologically mm -hmm. true across the board, because like Keith is known as the friendliest person, but when he releases something like that, he becomes the most like formidable foe. <laughs> I'm known as a yeah, very stoic complete. person mm -hmm. and sort of like visually scary and quiet. But when I let things out, I'm like an emotional nutcase. <laughs> like I become like Meryl Streep in every film she's been in. Well, I you always know? think it's kind of like goes back and this is like a funny saying to even weave into this, but like what they say, soberness conceals, drunkenness reveals. And it's mm. like, oh. we all have this like persona we put on, right? In a way that we're supposed to be. And you all play, even though you are very much the same in, in real life, just so you know, yeah. as you are on your channel, but you definitely play up your own personalities because you each have your own individual feeling on mm -hmm. the channel and like persona. But I think we all have that that we put up in the world, everybody does. And that's just our best foot forward, whatever we think that looks like right. based yeah. on what we've been taught. And then yeah. everybody's got like a, the crazy side of them that like loses their shit or like shuts down or the is, evil twin <laughs> that hides inside yeah because i i'm i can definitely be that way like you can push me so far and i'll, I'll play cool i'll be super nice and then all of a sudden i'm like nope that's too far and then yeah. i'm like ah, like you, this person i want to see the scary out. version of you i would love <laughs> yeah. that oh is it, is it really is it, you have to really threaten me is it katie with a with an e at the end has anyone like, ever done a drunk reach. therapy session oh no i haven't that'd be kind of funny that should, that should be the next video, video. That be the next video. That be pretty the next good video, video. Yeah. But okay. you have to get drunk too. Yeah, that'd be really funny. Like, who knows Everyone's what I would say? Be bad at what you're doing. Who knows what I would say? Yeah, Katie with an E will come out. <laughs> you imagine yeah. her being like, you and you, stop being little bitches. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucked up, you're fucked up, you're fucked up. No therapy. No yeah, therapy. Honestly, drunk therapy it's is a great show. Mind. I would like to no, get no, it. No, no, Let's write that down. History. Let's write that down. No, drunk, drunk therapy. I, honestly, we're going to maybe bring you back. I think yeah, that's our new series. In the evening. You know, one thing I've been trying to exercise, which is kind of new for me, but mm -hmm. maybe I just, because of how I am with my sisters, I, I, it was a tactic. Um, I don't know if you guys have been noticing recently, I'll lead with compliments. Oh yeah. So I'll yeah. be like, so helpful. I, I'm hobby. always like, look at this thumbnail. Ugh. Ooh, did you, your edit, amazing, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then I go, if you want, that maybe you like trim that. Yeah. And then usually the notes take in almost mm -hmm. like, it's a little sugar, mm -hmm. but I also oh, yeah. don't like lie when I say I like something. Mm -hmm. No, I call mm -hmm. it like, a hug and with roll. The, the, that thumbnail, I mm -hmm. thought the thumbnail was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of something that I feel like we could do a little more. You up. could totally, because yeah. then people are warmed up. Yeah. It, I call it the hug and roll in relationships. Like if someone falls asleep on your arm, you hug them close and you kind of roll away. <laughs> oh, so we're just trying to roll right now. We're not hugging enough. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're just yeah. rolling. You're roll actually more. like pushing, kind of. Mm -hmm. There's that's no hug. Cuddle. I would like to choke and push. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be choked. It sounds like, a, like you know, the, the talking stick in elementary school? Yeah. We should get a chef hat. Oh, totally. Uh, we have a meeting. We just put the, the chef. Who, who's a, the a chef? That way, the person chef who's hat. talking about how upset they are also looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, kind of serious. So I mean, when like, you said that this <laughs> this was a problem, I was like, it's not a problem. <laughs> and I'm seeing us hurdy dirty dirty dirty. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll like take a photo the, of that for you on our next. I meeting. can't. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah. But thank you guys for being open to talking oh, about yeah. things, yeah, and hopefully some of that was helpful to you and check out their channel. We did a video over there all about burnout. I know a lot of people are talking about that. We talk about not only their experiences with it, my experience, but how it can affect you as well. Thanks, thank you guys. I think we should uh, hug and roll out. Yeah, hug, hug and roll. roll. Hug and roll. This is gonna, how are we gonna do this? Hug, hug, hug. hug. You're all amazing people. And, and roll. roll.
I rolled this one. I didn't want to knock oh, the point no, I yet. rolled into the camera. Ned, no! Oh, <laughs> Choking plush. Ned, <laughs> <Choking> plush. <laughs>